Started tearing down the door. I wanted to kind of show you the parts and the pieces as I went along. I mean, you could tear it apart and see what it looked like too, but just in case you're not going to do one in the near future, I thought I would go ahead and document it because sometime you might, and you can always kind of come back for reference. These are the uh, top and bottom, so I always label them. Can like, you see that? I, I kind of cleaned them up a little bit. Top. So, I mean, they're really self-explanatory, but sometimes it's been a while before you, since you tore it down before you rebuild it. So, it's okay to write top or bottom on it. That's just what I do. And you don't have to put, you know, the lock side, because obviously that's, you know, the lock side. And it's, oh, it's, it's bent. It's broken a little bit. But we're going to take some sheet metal. We're going to get some pop rivets. And we're going to strengthen that up. And it'll be just fine at that point. And uh, this is the side that the piano, the big piano hinge goes on. It's just a U-channel. That's all it really is. And, of course, our barman, which seems to be in good shape. I pulled it out. So we'll move it over here out of the way. Now, we get to see what's underneath the skin. This is a two-part skin system right here. So, let's uh, pull it out and get it out of the way. Good job, good job. Well, mommy, mommy, why is it so hot in the summer and so cold in the winter? I don't know, dear. It seems to be emanating from the door. Well, it'd kill you to put three dollars worth of insulation in it. My goodness, we will. This looks to be about an inch, inch and a quarter thick, so we're gonna put some rigid uh, foam insulation in there and that'll that'll really do a lot of help of course it kind of rotted out there at the bottom didn't it there's not much we can reuse out of this at all uh, and it doesn't matter if we reuse old stuff on this just because it's never going to be seen it's going to be covered up by a lot of the original parts we've got this part a lot of times that's missing from your bargain we've got that so we're good we just need to find a striker plate. It didn't come with the striker plate. We'll figure something out, though. Not too big a deal. All right. I'm going to take my measurements. And I'll probably go real close to what they're doing here. Other than I might put a couple more in. You know, some of these cross braces right here. You know, I may do a couple more. I mean, it's... A lot of times it's just, you know, leftover lumber anyway. And it's not going to hurt anything. And that way this doesn't happen. I swear that's a weak point, very weak point. And we'll just really buff that up a little bit. All right, let me get going on this and uh, I'll show you it. Before I get too deep into it, I wanted to show you the door upgrade. Remember from just a few seconds back what it looked like. I added, of course, all new wood, but then that's extra. And then I moved this one up, then moved this one up and added that one. And then for stability, put these in here. It's gonna make it so that it doesn't do that. And same thing right here. This is just notorious for spreading like that or doing this or back and forth like that. It, uh, it causes a problem. So I wanted to make sure that there is a 100% chance that this door is going to be stable and is going to last a lot longer. Now I'm gonna go cut some one inch pink foam insulation and put that in there. And uh, then I need to get my Luan stapled on the other side. I'll show you here in a minute. How oh, about a quick update? Look at that. We've got it foamed in. And that's cool. But what's really cool, look at this. Man, how nice did that turn out? That is so beautiful. That grain is just popping out. Look at that bird's eye right there. And I'm going to call that a mountain. 
Whatever. I just really, really think that that's sharp. That's a beautiful door. We're gonna get it put back together, hopefully, here in the next uh, 30, 45 minutes. But I wanted to show it to you. And we did get it put back together. We've got a little touch up to do here and there. Jim came over yesterday and uh, helped me with the bargain, get it all attached correctly. We're gonna trim up a little bit right there. That's all right. We got this reinforced, so we're not gonna have any problems with it flying open. So, it came out great. We're gonna, we, like again, there's gonna be scuffs. We're gonna get rid of those. But it's a beautiful door. I'm very, very proud of it. We're not long to giving this one back to uh, the owners. We've got to add a little bit of uh, weather stripping right along here. The door just came out real, real nice. Sometimes the, you just put so much work into them and they don't, and I just don't like that. But I like this. I like how it, it just went right back together the way it was supposed to go back together. We've got uh, Chris Abbey came by and put on our screen door. We'll show you more of it in the reveal. I don't want to give it all away to you now, you know. But uh, we didn't have to wrap this video up. It's going to be a short video, but uh, you get the idea. You get the idea. You know how these bargmans work. Jim does especially. That's why he was over here. He's the bargman expert. Now we're good to go. There we go.